Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Right now we are in a Volvo S40. Uh, it's a 2001 model. And as you can see, just ignore the, the petrol light. We have the ABS light showing on the dashboard here. So, uh, we believe there's possibly a fault with an ABS sensor. Hopefully not. It's Hopefully it's not the ABS module or the uh, the ABS pump because uh, that would be big bucks and very expensive. Uh, but we're going to use the Autel EU702 to diagnose the ABS fault and let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So we are in a Volvo, as I say it's a Volvo S40 um, and it's a 2000 model that we have. So we're just going to select our system, which is ABS. And we're going to read codes. Alright, so we've got uh, the code 312, it's one of one. Uh, wheel sensor signal, front right wheel fault in the sensor circuit so uh, that to me looks like there was a fault with the uh, the front right ABS sensor so it needs to be changed over um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get the ABS sensor changed over and then we can come back into the vehicle we should be able to just simply erase this trouble code and that should then uh, remove the ABS light from the dashboard there uh, so first step is to remove the ABS sensor put the new one in and then we'll come back Alright, so if you pull back this bit of plastic here, you'll get access to the ABS sensor. Um, as you can see, I've already disconnected the ABS sensor. Um, so what I need to do is, I mean the wire, it goes back into the, uh, the plastic surround here. It comes down here. And then you can see it goes into the uh, hub there. I'm not sure how well you can actually see that, but it's it's in there anyway. Right, so that's the old sensor. Put the new one in, hook it back up, then we'll go back into the vehicle and see if we can get that dash light move from the uh, dashboard in this Volvo. Alright guys, so we've put in our new ABS sensor. Um, now we're just about to start up the vehicle now. Not entirely sure as to whether the ABS light will go off automatically or we'll need to use the code reader to do that, but we'll, uh, we'll soon find out. Alright, so the good news is that it has automatically gone out actually, um, which is it's good to see, but it, what, what it does mean is that the code will still be present within the, uh, the diagnostic of the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is just go in and actually do a reset of the fault code. So at the ABS, put the light on because we are accessing that system uh, so read code 312 which is the same code as we had before and then we're going to erase code ignition on engine stopped erase codes command sent so that's good now we'll just go back in and read the codes. System passed, no fault codes detected. Excellent news. Um, so the uh, Autel EU702 has worked well to help us diagnose and reset the fault codes in our Volvo S40. Um, as I say, as you can see, it also works on other systems such as the uh, petrol engine. Um, or your diesel engine depending on which uh, vehicle you select uh, transmission control module ABS and SRS airbag system uh, it is available just by clicking the link directly below this video thank you for watching